Yes. Who are you, Walking Weasel? I love the art, so who are you? Who are you? Are you? Walking. Walking. You guys can pass the microphone around because there's lots of people around the corner too. All right, uh, Walking Easel, we're a small company based out of Racing, Wisconsin. Uh, we do fine art and fashion. My cousin and I own the company here. We do a lot of photography work around the city. We have some items here that were in Montana. We have some mountain landscapes. But we just like creative expression. Like this event here was perfect for us. We love poetry and musicians and any type of individual creative expression. We just express ourselves through art. We find art and fashion. You can find us on the web. Ah! www.walkingweasel.com. That's, that's my son there. And I guess he's pretty excited about that. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Hey, a question over here. Um, I was sitting in the back, so I couldn't see what was going on. But um, when you use uh, effects and layers for vocals, were you doing that live with a unit, or was that pre-recorded? That was live. This I have a pedal that makes harmonies instantaneously. What is the pedal? It's called TC Helicon Voice yeah. Live. Okay. Yeah. Is it the new one? Um, it's the number two, so it's not the number three, right. but it's still cool. Yeah, it's still cool. That was it. Thank you. Some music nerd questions. <laughs> <laughs> Other questions? How does one become the inaugural poet laureate? Hold on one second. I guess we got somebody that's question. Could you ask that again, Jerry? How does one become the inaugural poet laureate of Elton? By accident. <laughs> but um, no, Albuquerque decided. Gosh, what's it, 20? We just installed our second Poet Laureate, uh, Jessica Helen Lopez, in April. So I was 2012 to 2014. In 2010, uh, an idea came down the hill from Colorado in the form of a poet named Stuart Warren. And Colorado had had a state poet and had Denver has a Poet Laureate. So they, he came down and was like, how come, how come New Mexico, as a state, doesn't have a Poet Laureate? We're one of four states left that doesn't, but, but we're working on that right now. And then, um, more importantly, how come Albuquerque didn't? So he's planted the seed, and then the uh, committee, a nonprofit organization of four individuals, kind of took it and ran with it. And they created a process that was equal parts uh, publishing. So you had to submit 15 to 30 pages of published work, um, or un unpublished work. But then you had to have your performance resume, or your publishing resume, or your history as well. And if you made it past the first round, then they brought you in for a real interview, which included a 12 minute performance. So four of us did that after um, they saw us on paper, if you will, and then uh, they went away like a jury and came back with a decision. Yes. I just, that was a very technical response. I just want to say Laura was back here. Her answer was, you're good. <laughs> I appreciate that, too. Alice, did you have a question? Yes, my Thank you. They're ten dollars. Okay. I have a question for Owen. Uh, <laughs> you, you, we didn't we didn't hear from you too much today, but we heard of you. We heard some from you by proxy. So I just wanted to know which heroes you were thinking of when you said all my heroes are in your debt are going crazy. Um, just a lot of musical heroes, from you know Otis Redding to. James Dilla, <laughs> James D, Jimmy D, Jimmy D and Sausage, um, and the crazy half of it would probably mostly refer to like Kanye West. And, uh, That's enough crazy for all of us. That's enough crazy for all of us. Or really anyone who goes to that like really high pressure cooker that is fame and doesn't die, you know, or Kurt Cobain, guys like that. So it's just a lot of idols. Any other questions? I'm proud of you now. I'd like to ask how Keen, what he thinks uh, the job of uh, Fort Gloria is. I mean, like, you know, what kind of uh, uh, subjects and message and, and uh, I, I think the community represent tells you that. The community represent kind of dictates that. I think equal parts in the, in the selection process, the community's personality is at play, the community's needs are at play. 
and, it, and that doesn't always translate into getting the right person. But I think that that works. It weighs in heavily in the front end, and then in the back end, you get invited to the events that the community thinks you should be at, and they expect you to say something that speaks to that event. Uh, the the, the dip, most difficult part of being a poet laureate for many people is the occasional poem. So it's easy for me to sit in my, my upper room and write poems about what I want to write about and hope they're good. But then when they say, hey, the Albuquerque Rose Society wants you to come and write a poem about roses, and I'm like, I'm from Philly, I don't really know anything about roses, but <laughs> I need to find a connection to it and, and go. And this, that's the city telling you what they want you to write about and what to, what to say on their behalf. And sometimes you get it right, sometimes you don't. You're like the flag day parade is coming up. <laughs> 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 oh, I pledge allegiance. Any other questions? Yeah, is there a poem coming about Maya Angelou? I don't know. Could you repeat the question? She said, is there a poem coming about Maya Angelou? Um, I, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm dealing with the death of Maya Angelou. It's very recent, but um, I've written poems in the past about in relation with some of her work, specifically one called The Black Family Pledge. Some of you may know that poem. She wrote a poem that's kind of like a black family reunion poem. And for those who've been to a black family reunion, you know that that is equal parts fun, and also usually an elder relative saying that this is what's wrong with our family, and we need to fix it. And so she has a poem that says, this is what's wrong with our family, and we need to fix it. And I, and I thought it was good, but like any different generations, I always have some critiques. I'm like, Grandma, that was cool, but you don't get us. And so I wrote my response to that. So I have, I, I've had a conversation with Dr. Angela. <laughs> Chris, another, another answer to your question. I, I'm sure there are people in this room who have already, you know, there, there may not have been one from Hakeem yet, but the world is pouring out with poems. Any questions? One more question. One more question. Right? Okay, the question was for Walking Easel. She said, can you buy paintings? Or can you just buy prints? Now that's a good question to get right there. Yeah. We do not have the originals for sale now, but out of all the originals here, and then there are also five other on our website now, you can order prints in five different sizes from uh, 11 to 14 up to 30 by 40. So you can order prints, we have them drop shipped directly to you. Most of uh, all of our clothing and our hats are for sale here, and you can get those locally in every city. Were you able to hear that? Okay. And I, well, just really quickly, are these are these prints or these are all the originals? Those these are, are our original paintings oh, here. Acrylic on canvas. I already tried to buy the basketball hoop, so yeah. <laughs> but that's, I'll fight you outside. The same exact size can be purchased on at walkingeasel.com right now. So with that, let me just give an incredibly heartfelt thanks to all of you who are here today because it doesn't make any sense to bring people from New Mexico and Indiana and West Chicago and Baltimore apparently and not have people to hear it. So thank you thank all you. so much.